Hey, I hope you're doing great today. My name is Jay and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up your website, like your project. Um, this is gonna be more for beginners. So if you're starting, this video is gonna be perfect for you, how you can get started. I mean, this is gonna be more HTML, CSS and JavaScript only, okay? This is not gonna be a very complicated website or web app or something, nothing like that. All right, so we're gonna be using VS Code. As you can see, I have it right here, this link. If you don't have it and you want to download it, it's going to be in the description of the video. Go there. We're going to be using browser sync, but you don't have to. There's another option that I'm going to show you. Okay. After you have VS code inside installed in your computer, um, go ahead and create like an empty folder. You can name it whatever you want. Mine is called starter and I can just drag and drop this to VS code right here and it's going to open just like this. So this is totally empty. This is what you're going to see. First thing we want to do, I'm going to click here on this little plus file, new file icon, and let's call it index.html, just like that. And now this is totally empty. We need to create some kind of boilerplate, some code that will help us get getting started instead of you starting writing or copying, pasting from somewhere else. So write exclamation mark and you're gonna hit enter and here we go. So this is what we have. And I'm gonna do um, option Z that way, um, what is this called? When you don't, I don't know, you say disable the scroll, like wrap the wrapping of the te text, yep. Um, we got the, here the title, let's change it to starter or the name of your project. And what I'm going to do next is adding my CSS here. I don't have it yet. I need to create it, but let's go ahead and do a link and you can hit enter and you have here. Let's go ahead, do style.css. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't have to be style. And then after my body, because we want to add some JavaScript, you don't have to add JavaScript, but to show you, I'm just going to add it here. Source equals to Let's call this main.js. And now that we have that, let's go ahead and create those files. So style.css and main.js. All right, let's make sure we save that. But now what I want to do is make sure that we can see this website in our browser. And every time we do some kind of change, it will automatically reload the page and show us that change. So one thing you can do is install one of these extensions. So click here on the extensions icon, search for live reload, or I'm, I'm sorry, live server. You will find the live server as is this one right here. You're gonna see a button that says install, go ahead and install. You have to restart your VS code and you're good to go. I already did it so you can see that I don't have an install button, but we're good. After you're done with that, go back to your folders right here on these icons, right click it and you will see this open with live server. Click there. And here we go. This is our website, totally blank. There's nothing yet in here. So let's go ahead and add something to the body. So H1, uh, my website. I'm going to save this and here we have done deal. Let's go and add some CSS. Um, let's do body background. Let's do like a light gray, something like this. Let's save this. You, um, I don't know if you saw, let's do some other gray, make sure that we can see the change and here we go. So now we have that. Um, let's go ahead and add something to that H1 just to have fun here. Text align center. Actually, let's do here on the, um, on the body display flex, I like item center. Don't worry. This is just me playing around, making sure that this works, save it. And, oh. The, the height of the body needs to be, there you go. So now I have 
totally center, um, horizontally, vertically, a H1 title or a headline, my website. And now let's go ahead and add some JavaScript, making sure that this works. Let's do alert just to test this, my website. And we have the alert. Let's go ahead and do um, document doc query selector. Let's do H1 dot. Let's do style dot color. Is this going to work? Let's see. Um, let's do red. Here we go. Some JavaScript, huh? The power. So all I did was, I mean, this is something that I can do in CSS, but just to make sure it works and the setup is done correctly. Perfect. Everything is working. Everything is connected. And you can see that is reloading is detecting CSS, JavaScript and HTML changes. So this works perfectly. So I'm going to stop this server down here. It says port. I'm just going to click there and we're good. I can close that. Let's use browser sync now in case you're interested. Um, I like it because you have more options and you can do a lot of things with um, browser sync. But if you're getting started, you don't need it, honestly. So we need to install this. What you need to do is click on terminal here, new terminal. And this right here, you just need to copy and paste it down there in your terminal. OK, down here. You're going to hit enter It's going to install. Maybe it takes a little bit or maybe not. But after you're done with that, what you can do is this. Browser sync files. And here what we're going to do is um, you can do index just the index um, HTML or a CSS. But I'm going to just do all the current folders and the subfolders, just in case I create another folder, um, browser sync will detect that too. So I'm going to hit enter. And here we go. We have, as you can see, is running, watching files. Let's change this to something else like a black color. And here we go. It's working. Let's do the see, um, I, um, JavaScript save. And it's working too. The good thing about browser sync, you have a ton more options. You, uh, you can modify whatever you want, um, your port number, everything. All right. So that's how I get started. Almost every single of my tutorials, I create something like this and then I create something and it's awesome. So this is how you can get started if you're a beginner to create a cool website. And hopefully this is helpful. See ya. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.